So guys, for the first step, you wanna to get to this screen. So to get to that screen, I'm gonna show you two ways on how to do it. So for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows, like I'm on Windows right now. If you can sign into Windows, then you wanna head over to search and type in reset this PC, click on it. And then next to advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now, and then click on restart now again. It will then take you into that screen. If you cannot sign into Windows, then you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once your computer turns on again and you see the Windows loading screen, you wanna turn off your computer again. And then you wanna turn it back on again and then repeat this three times. Repeat what I just told you three times. Turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. When you see the Windows loading screen, you wanna turn it off again straight away from the power button and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will take you into here. And now once you're on this screen, you wanna click on Troubleshoot and then click on Advanced Options and then you wanna click on Startup Repair. It's gonna diagnose your PC, see if this fixes your problem. If that did not work for you, you wanna click on Advanced Options and then click on Troubleshoot and then click on Advanced Options again. Now for the second method, you wanna click on System Restore. If you do not see System Restore, you wanna click on Seam Recovery Options and then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on System Restore and then if you have a restore point, you wanna click on Next and then you wanna go back to your previous restore point. This should also fix your problem. If you do not have a restore point, that's fine. You wanna click on Cancel and now for the third method, you wanna click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then you wanna click on Command Prompt. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in C colon, click on Enter. Then you wanna type in CD space backslash Windows backslash System32 backslash Config, click on Enter. And now you wanna type in MD space backup, click on Enter. And now you wanna type in copy space star dot star space backup, click on Enter. And now you wanna type in CD space regback, click on enter. And now you wanna type in copy space star dot star space dot dot, click on enter. And now you wanna type in A, click on enter again. For me, some of these commands did not work because I don't have this problem, but in your case, it should be working. And then you wanna type in exit and then click on enter. And now you just wanna continue onto Windows and then the problem should be fixed. Now, if the problem is not fixed, then you wanna head back into this screen again and then click on reset this PC instead. And then you can either choose to keep your files or remove everything, it's up to you. And yeah, this is the last resort. But hopefully when you complete them CND commands, you could just continue onto Windows and then that's fix your problem.